Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. When we last left off, we did a grueling, absolutely grueling stealth mission. That was so difficult, especially because I don't think it was really even based on our stealth, but rather how close we, we kept up to him. Like, there was a, a hard set radius, and that was, that was difficult. But this time, we are going to be doing another trial, which, let's see, I headed from there, so that means we're heading this way. I think, or is this where we came from? I don't think this is where we came from, so let's head through this and find out for ourselves. Yeah, I don't think we came from here, so we'll, we'll find out. It should be turning all bluey and mysteriousy. Is this new or not? There's some wildlife that just hopped along. I can't really tell. There's some flowers. Oh, wait, there, there's a Korok. Hey, you. This way to the trial. A Hylian seeks to attempt the Korok trial. Is that even allowed? Eh, who cares? Are you here to attempt my Korok trial? Of course. Oh, wow, you really want to try it? I guess it was worth asking after all. Let me tell you about the trial. All you need to do is keep going and not get lost in the mist. Easy, right? What's wrong? You don't look very excited. But don't worry, I got a cryptic little hint for you. The hungry trees will show you the way. Spy their icon to win the day. Did I make that sound cool? I think about that while you take on the trial. Their icon, huh? Oh, I think I know who that is. Are you a hungry tree? No, you're not a hungry tree. What is this? That's odd. I can't move that at all. But is that their icon? Am I spying that? No, I can't. I can't get that as a beacon. Spy their icon, huh? Wait a minute. That's how. I just need to use magnesis to look for the metallic the metallic boulders. Oh, please, wolf. I don't... No, wolf. You know what? We're gonna get... We're gonna get some wolf in on wolf action here. Here. Wolf Link, can you help me out? You know what? Yeah, I didn't even have to hurt it. Wolf Link can do that. In fact, I was looking in the, uh... In the, the hints that they give me, and apparently... The, uh, the wolves... Or Wolf Link can't actually be seen by any other enemies, which explains why the, he doesn't draw any aggro ever. So if Wolf Link can do his thing for me, I should be able to do my thing. So I'm here, looking for another one. Go a little bit further. Spy their icon to win the day. Oh, there it is. Man, this is so clever. Grab this wolf. Let's see. That tree looks very unique. I always thought that that places like this where you can you can't go any direction you wish always have the greatest potential for secrets because if there's one hole ah oh man if there is one hole in the the path or in the, the like the invisible wall then you can get through that and find a secret and there's no indication that there is a hole there. Okay, we're going to this one. This isn't too difficult thus far. I'm just following the the very set path. Hitting that guy. And I think I'm here. Uh Fox, please don't get my get that meat. What is this? This is weird. Here, we'll we'll kill the we'll kill the the Stalfos. Die. You know what? One thing I, I don't like about Breath of the Wild. What is this? A oh, it's a rusty shield. One thing I don't like about Breath of the Wild is that the the classic music isn't present. Like, the Lost Wood theme is not present. I almost hit Link here. Feed me the aged shield guarded by Monsters Eternal. My brother will repay you in kind. So, I give a shield, I get a shield? Uh, shields. So... 
Oh wait, I oh wait, uh, that was a mistake. I need to drop this on the ground and then use Magnesis on it. So drop and eat up. Yum yum. And he gives me a shield. I wonder what kind of shield he's going to give me. I can also see the Korok leaf. I need to go over there. Okay, so this is kind of a side quest here. Here. Thank you, brother of the tree. Amber, that's... I guess that's not really in kind, but whatever. Okay, so let's first grab these fish. Or not. I think these are just Hylian trout. Uh, I don't need the tree branch, but I can't drop it. Oh, I can't even drop it in the water. Okay, well, let me get out of the water. Excuse me. And switch to that. Throw it away. And grab one of the leaves. I'm also going to grab a trout. A stealth fin trout. Consuming the bioluminescent compound that makes the fish glow in the dark will increase concentration. Dishes cooked with it suppress noise when consumed. And now I have stealth fin. And I'm all about that stealth. Here, Wolflink, can you... Can you come here? Come, come on to this. You... Okay. Whatever, buddy. <laughs> Poor guy. Also, this is the wrong way. Here. Let's just speed right on over there. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I went not fast at all. There we go. Over to this island. What instructions do you have? Please place my chest in my mouth. The Shield Eater's brother stole it from me. Oh. That's what we need to do here. Let's go grab that chest. Oh, there. So we'll use Magnesis to get the chest. Looks like there's just kind of this weird kind of family feud here. The, the first guy that we got stole the chest, gave it to a brother, and I'm currently drowning underneath a raft. And now we need to return it to this guy. Also accidentally hitting the chest. Uh, get over there. Okay, so we have the chest. And then we can... I accidentally threw it in. Okay. <laughs> that works. And is... That is shrine. That's the shrine. Oh, I, I th kind of expected us to have to go on a whole trading quest, but I guess we just get the shrine straight up. Okay. Now where is that? I actually, uh, I actually threw that in. Let me give it to back to you properly. There you go. You can have that. Does does this change? Because it's all misty. Yeah. Okay. It does not. You scared me, Link. Okay. So now we get our our last shrine before we can get the Master Sword. I would like to complete all of the trials before we get the Master Sword, but this means we only have one left. Kun Sidaj Blessing. An ancient core? A giant ancient core. Well, that's better than your brother. Your brother was sk stingy. But there's only one more trial left for us. If I remember the Korok correctly. And that will give us... It's actually nice. They give us all four orbs that we would need to get. Or I guess they just give us a full heart. Since they can't assume that we would be entering here with 12 hearts. Okay, but before I do, I do want to check one thing. Can I... Can I use this? I have... I want to know what the cooldown is of these things. Yeah, I can't be- okay, so I can use them once per actual day. So, let's see, where are we headed next? I've already seen him. It looks like this is the next path I need to, to head towards. I think. This looks like a path to me. So, we'll- also, I do not need this leaf. I can throw this away. I can't throw this away, okay. Well, I guess I'll just hold on to it for a little bit. Can I head this direction? Is this an actual path? It's kind of hard to tell. I don't think this is an actual path. I think it's just heading around the backside of the tree, which there could be stuff there. If if Xenoblade Chronicles is any indication, there's definitely something back here. 
whenever there's a giant tree. But I don't think this is an actual path. Yeah, this is not an actual path. Trial 1. In the eastern forest test of wood. That's all that's left. So, eastern forest. So, I need to go here. And... Go this way. I pr the, the lights, the bean lights were probably a good indication. And also this sign which says the test of wood. Well, you know, you know, I can't read Hylian. That's my excuse. So heading this way, almost done with the Korok Forest slash Lost Woods. Kind of sad. Oh, hello, frogs. They, they are gone. Kind of sad, but I am, I am still ready to get the Master Sword. Hey, hero guy, I was told you were, you'd were be coming. Do you really think you're ready for the test of wood? Some say it's the hardest of the Korok trials, but it's not complicated. All you need to do is equip this Korok weapon set and reach the shrine at the back of the area. Are you ready to try it? Alright, go get him. If you have the shield, bow, and sword equipped the whole time. Or you have to. If they break or you unequip them, you're out. Huh? Your inventory's full. You'll need to make some space. All you have to do is reach the shrine in the back of the area. Off you go! What are these weapons? How bad are they? And am I timed? No, I'm not timed. How good are these things? A wooden sword, which can't be too good, right? I would assume it'd be bad. Ah, uh, no! That's pretty good. What about the, the bow? So it's sturdy, it's construction may be simple, but it fires multiple arrows. Multiple arrows at once? Multiple arrows at once? What? And it's sturdy. These aren't too bad. I don't know why this is supposed to be hard. Unless they give us... Oh, no, I know exactly what they're going to do. Fire enemies. They're going to be giving us fire enemies. So I'm going to try to just avoid everything. I think that's smart. I can't unequip it. And I can't... It looks like I'm I'm fairly limited with where I can go. So let's here uh, grab my bombs, blow that up, get through here, get some arrows as well. Ow! Hey, buddy, how's it going? How are you doing? Uh, bye. <laughs> yeah, I knew it. Fire enemies. That means I need to run. And fire arrows and ice arrows. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh no. Just thaw me. Don't start me on fire. And don't hit me, for goodness sake. At least that won't do much against... Ah! Ah! No! That ex escalated quickly. Oh, but I, I, I didn't fail it. Okay, well, let's do that again. Time to run, time to run. Ah, oh, don't kill me. There's the fire keys. I don't need them in my life. Oh, ice arrows. Ah! Don't kill me. Okay, wait, wait, just one moment. I need to do that. And actually, I need to catch this air. What up? Perfect. And I'm to the other side. Just keep going. There's the shrine. I'm close. Uh, can I just jump this? I think I can just walk this. Oh! No! Give me an updraft. Yes! I got my updraft, and I'm cheating the system, and I'm here. Yay! Whew! That was intense. <laughs> that was so intense. Congratulations, you've passed the test of wood. Well done, hero man. Happiness awaits you at the shrine. Oh yeah, if you ever want to do the trial again, just let me know. See ya. <laughs> that was so intense. But I got some cool weapons. That's not bad. And we got also got the last shrine. Mog Halong's Blessing. And it rewards us with a giant ancient core. Eh, not bad. Now that I know how to use them or what they're used for, that is not a bad reward. And we're done. And I got a hot-footed frog. So, I wonder if there's any specific reward for completing all three. Because we've gotten more than enough. We've gotten three or four, three, three or four spirit orbs. We've gotten a bunch of ancient cores. 
money. Well, I mean, not money, but, you know, treasures. And so I wonder, what? You finished all the trials? That's amazing. You're so cool. Now it's only a matter of time before you're able to pull out the Master Sword. Hurry and show us what you got. Oh, I know that look. You want me to give you something since you visit all the places, don't you? I guess I have no choice. I'll give you my most treasured item. A big hearty truffles. Years of going unpicked have allowed this hearty truffle to grow quite large. It's chocked full of nutrients. When cushed into a di- Cushed. When cushed into a dish, it temporarily increases your maximum hearts. Try cooking a dish with that big hearty truffle. It'll soothe all of your aches and pains and then some. I'm not pulling a branch here. Just try for yourself. Not bad. Now what I need to do is find a goddess statue. Was there one in here? I don't remember if there was one in here. So that I can increase my max hearts and get the master sword to end off the episode. Was there one around? I don't think there was. Also, does that just refresh every time? I think that refreshes every time, which is pretty nice. Uh, this also refreshes, which whenever it does, I should probably buy all of them. Since apparently we need an obscene amount later on in the game. I've been warned. Okay, so I wonder if the Great Deku Tree can in, it can let me spend my my spirit orbs. I hope you extract the sword, or if you hope to extract the sword, you'll need to summon a hero's strength. Let's see how brightly your life force burns. Okay, so I need to warp somewhere to get this done. What better place than the Temple of Time to get our thirteen thirteenth heart, and also to get the Master Sword. Let's get that heart container. Yes, I do. I'll grant the power you seek. And with that, I'll meet you back at the Master Sword. Dun We can pull the master sword and no one will be bored when we get hurt to the core right now. It hurts a lot, but I think we can do it. We did it. Restoration will most certainly deprive him of his memories. Please trust me when I say that I know he will arrive before you yet again. If I may be so bold, what is it that you are planning to do next, Princess?
What you just saw happened where you stand one hundred years ago. After you were separated from the sword, the princess thought to bring it here, where she knew that it would be safe under my watch. She continues to fight, trapped deep within the confines of Hyrule Castle. Her heart cascades with faith that you will return. She has a smile like the sun. I will do much to feel its warmth upon me once again. Oh, so that's the love interest of Zelda. It's actually the great Deku Tree. The Master Sword! The legendary sword that seals the darkness. Its blade gleams with a sacred luster that can oppose the calamity. Only a hero chosen by the sword itself may wield it. The blade has a name. It is the Master Sword. When used against Calamity Ganon or those tainted by his malice, it will become suffused with holy light. Mm. At such time, the true power of the sword will manifest, but be warned. Do not rely too much on its power. If you wield it without need, or if you wield it without need, its power will be exhausted and it will no longer be of use to you. Should this happen, you must wait for the sword to recover. Do, it would be rash to rely on the sword alone to defeat Ganon. I suggest you free the Divine Beast before facing him. And with that, we have the Master Sword! Can I do a Skyward Strike? No? That's... sad. Man, that... that radius, goodness. So, the Master Sword. Here, let me look at the stats of this thing. 30, as opposed to... Like, 55. So, this does more damage, but this has no durability, which is nice, but apparently there's some punishment for us y just using it? Odd. I, I'm not sure if that's health, or we just aren't able to use it for a while. I would assume it honestly wouldn't really matter which, because they both achieve the same effect. So, I, I will use this very sparingly, maybe against guardians, or some other thing, bosses, I don't know. But I guess we'll, we'll play around with this next episode. We have the Master Sword. It's been a wild ride full of twists and turns. And you guys have helped me with a lot of, uh, a lot of coping. A lot of my coping with those twists and turns. But now we finally have the Master Sword. We're finally reaching a major point of the game. Alright, next time, I'm not sure what we're going to be doing, but we'll be talking about that next time. So join me then. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like. If you didn't, then drop a comment telling me how I can make the next episode so that you would like it. I release new episodes of Breath of the Wild every Monday and Wednesday, and Pikmin every Tuesday and Thursday. Join me next time, and I'll see you guys then. Oh, we have 10 seconds left. Oh, boy. What? Go, go, go. Oh, boy. Kill them. Okay. D dig up, take this, stick, dig, dig! Oh, I didn't realize! Why? Why? Okay, I have a split second to react. Uh, should I dodge to the right and take him out with a spinning bat kick, or should I get hit in the face and die? Let's find out. I dodged to the left. I didn't die. <laughs>